12 days of fitness. Day one, this is Santa Elmer doing the chimney climbers. As you do this, make sure your scapula is completely retracted and that you aren't shrugging your shoulders on the way up. Descend slowly until you have full extension of your arms and repeat. It's Nelly here. I'll be doing the gift toss. For this exercise, focus on the hips, assuring that you are fully flexing and extending as fast as possible while controlled. Your arms are straight and your hands are gripping the kettlebell while swinging underneath your body to above your shoulders. New Year's ball drop. For this one, you want to grab the ball, one that you can easily lift up over your head. Once you got that ball, you're going to lift it above your head and then you're going to throw it down on the ground with all your force. As that ball is coming down, you want to drop down also to try to catch the ball after it bounces. New Year New Gains are great for strengthening the quads. You're going to grab a bench and if you can, grow a pair of dumbbells. Put one leg on the bench and you're going to stand straight up, raising your opposite knee to your chest. Be mindful not to kick off the floor too hard. Jump rope exercises improves your foot coordination. It also strengthens the muscles surrounding your foot and ankle joints, and it can help decrease foot and ankle injuries. Remember your legs are springs, but you don't need to jump very high. Stay on your toes and keep your knees slightly bent. For proper movement, adjust the rope by holding the handles and stepping on the rope. Pump for presents are great for thickening and widening your back. Grab a cable machine, then go into drop in a seated position and roll the cable to your chest. While you're doing this, you'll be mindful of keeping your chest up and not letting your chest cave inward. Always pull with your elbows. Make sure your heels are always on the floor. Today, I will be demonstrating the snow globe squats. First off, you want to hold the kettlebell close to your chest. Grip the kettlebell by the handles or the base, whichever you prefer. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, slowly descend, and pretend like you're about to sit on a chair. Ascend upwards, fully extending at the hips and knees. Make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top. This will work on your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Push-up is a classic upper body exercise that everybody should be doing. These are snowball push-ups, where you will use a medicine ball. As you can see, I'm rolling them back and forth between hands and doing a push-up on each side. Take it up a notch with renegade rows. This is a push-up with two dumbbells. Between each push-up, raise one of the dumbbells up to your chest. This will also target your biceps and your back muscles. If you're having trouble with basic push-ups or push-up variations, you can start with modified push-ups from your knees. Make sure your body is straight like a board. Working the heavy bag is a great way to focus on speed, power, and coordination. As you make contact with the bag, make sure that your wrists are straight to prevent injury. The hand wraps and gloves are there to protect your wrists and knuckles from overexertion or injury. Once you're comfortable with the basic punches, you can add kicks and trick moves to make things more interesting. The ice skaters is a total body exercise that primarily targets the obliques. You want to lean forward, keep your back straight, and your core tight. Begin the exercise by stepping to the right and swinging your left leg behind your right leg while partially squatting down. Reverse the movement and hop onto your left leg. Common errors are not keeping your core tight and also leaning too far down. For the holly jolly jumps, you want to gather your holliness and your jolliness. You're going to come down into your seated position. You got your weight coming through the heels of your feet and your hands coming back. You got to jump through your heels and drive your arms forward and up. You fully extend up and then go ahead and hop back down and repeat. The deadlift is a staple lower body exercise that also works your core and your grip strength. The most important thing about the deadlift is to keep your back straight and lift with your legs. One common error is people will lift with their back in an arching motion. That can cause injury to your lower spine and put you out of commission for months. 